Hi everyone, I'm Charlene Habermeyer of Good Parenting Brighter Children, and this is Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents. Today I want to talk about children's toys. We're getting into that season of trying to find gifts for Christmas and Hanukkah, and also around this time, of course, every time of the year we have, we're always in the dilemma of finding the perfect birthday gift for someone. So let's talk a little bit about toys. I know that most parents want to give their children and grandparents want to give their grandchildren toys that are meaningful. But what you really want to give is you want toys that will spark their imagination and creativity. In the mid-70s, Ronald Barth, uh, he was a cultural critic, and he said that the selling of blocks was in decline, and children were no longer playing with blocks. And he said it was very, very sad, because now we were teaching our children to be users and not creators. So when you're picking out a, a toy for your child, make certain that there is some aspect of it that will spark their imagination and creativity. I'm sure that most of you have heard of the Melissa and Doug toys. And actually, Melissa and Doug got their start in 1988. They quit their corporate jobs and decided that they were going to be entrepreneurs. Then they decided that they were going to create children's toys. And the criteria for those to toys is they wanted to have a toy that a different meaning to different children that when they picked it up they didn't have to come with a bunch of different instructions on how it works and how you do this and how you do that but that their toys would have a wonderful sense of the child picks it up and it would spark their imagination and creativity and that they could do everything and anything that they wanted as far as their imagination goes with that toy and so look into those toys and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some and some specific toys and I have a blog that I've extensively talked about the importance of toys. Now we know that Legos are wonderful and that it gives a child the opportunity to build something. Now you may have a child who wants you to sit with them while they're building Legos and that's perfectly fine because they're reading those directions, they're reading to see how things come together and so maybe they'll need your help. And I, we had a son up till the age of 10 or 11. He wanted us to sit as he was creating his Legos. He had another brother who at the age of five didn't want us uh, to be apart. He wanted to put them together. And also with Legos, and uh, particularly with the Duplos, those bigger ones, they can create anything they want. They don't have to look at directions. They can just do anything they want, and that helps to build their imagination and creativity. Puzzles, of course, are excellent. Puzzles help them with spatial orientation. That's picture smart. If you want your child to be um, somebody who can uh, have a lot of reading comprehension, they need to be able to form pictures in their mind. Higher forms of math, they need to be able to form pictures in their mind. And puzzles do that. Also, Legos do the same thing. Anything types with crafts or artsy arts types of projects, those are also really fun and are helpful with, ch uh, with kids. I recently purchased some sensory sa sand for my little grandson for his birthday. Sensory sand, you can get it on Amazon. And it's a sand that is very safe for children, but it kind of sticks together. So you can get different types of molds. And there's alphabet molds and number molds and different things that they can do with that. Let me give you three other suggestions. And these were suggested by an occupational therapist because these actually are, are different types of toys that do build your child's brain as well. One of them are, is called boom whackers. Boom whackers are tubes. They're very colorful tubes. You can look on Amazon. And uh, of course, they can be used as a weapon <laughs> with siblings, but hopefully they won't. But they play various scales, the diatonic scale, it depends, depending on which boom whackers that you get. But you can hit them. They're a percussion instrument. So you can hit these tubes, and they create sounds. Now, also, I, I uh, have a video on my blog that shows you a school that they use uh, not only recorders, but they also use boom whackers. And they're playing different songs with these boom whackers. But they're fun to do as a family. And that will teach your child timing and rhythm which is very important. There's also something called the Perplexus Rookie. It's a plexiglass ball and it has just hundreds of feet wound up in it. You're taking this ball and you're trying to get the ball to go through this maze. And what this helps with is tracking. When a child learns to read, they need to track from left to right, but also need to track from line to line. This game, actually this perplexus rookie, will help them with tracking. 
There's also a game called Quirkle. And Quirkle is a really fun game that has to do with colors and shapes, and they're putting all of these colors and shapes together. And this helps with spatial orientation. Most of board games do help with spatial. And again, as I mentioned before, spatial is directly related to being able to form pictures in your mind, which will help with reading comprehension and higher forms of math. Another game is called the Infinite Loop. It's a circle eight, but there's an end to it, that's, and so you put the ball in, and you're trying to maneuver this ball through this eight. Again, it's hand-eye coordination, and it also helps with tracking. These are just a few ideas of different types of toys that you can get your children. Be sure and check out my blog on the best uh, toys for children that will build their brains. Uh, and you'll find it on Good Parenting, Brighter Children, and it will give you a list of the toys and what, is, what you can expect and how it will help your child. But the best thing is, when you get your child a toy, join in the fun with them. They love it when their parents play with them, and for them, their playing is their working. Just like when we go to work, well, they go to work when they play. So let me leave you with this, <clears throat> this um, quote by Oliver Wen Wendell Holmes. Men do not quit playing because they grow old. They grow old because they quit playing. So here is the perfect opportunity to play with your kids. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>